power of God. From that subject, I want to talk of, from that scripture. My subject says the arithmetic of the cross. The arithmetic of the cross. Taylor, the cross is one of the most impressive symbols in the world. It has also become an inherited part of our religion. History has also declared thousands wear crosses. Uh, crosses of gold, silver, and they are a sign of their sacredness. Uh, many which are beautiful, decorated with diamonds and pearls. Uh, but many today, where I am completely unaware of the true meaning of the cross of Jesus. The cross, the cross can so easily become just another talkative piece of item of jewelry and decoration. Meaning only a symbol, a trademark of the Christian faith and nothing more. But how many of us, how, how many of us fail to realize uh, that it also can become a trademark of Christianity without any bearing uh, on its true meaning in the heart of those who even wear it and use it. Uh, during the biblical days, uh, let, let our mind go back. During the biblical days, there were no jewels. Uh, Decorated the cross where our Lord died uh, for our sins. Uh, uh, in fact, many of that day and time, uh, they lost the true meaning of the cross. Uh, my question, how about you today? Have you? Uh, uh, what does the cross of Jesus Christ uh, mean to you? Uh, you may be involved in religion forever, and yet, Never come to understanding the true significance of the cross. You may end up with a sentimental understanding of the beautiful golden ornament rather than this rugged instrument of execution. Yes, I'm talking about the cross on which Jesus viciously died, suffered, all because he was sympathetic for our humanity. Uh, this cross, uh, this cross that Jesus died uh, was worse than any lethal injection uh, that your veins could uh, withstand. Uh, uh, it was worse than the electric chair uh, could embrace. Uh, it was worse than the gas chamber that could suffocate you. Uh, you see, we can't sanitize the cross and make it into something clean and stale. Uh, uh, we cannot whitewash the cross uh, and take off the blood and the stuff. Uh, we can't pass, uh, make it into something comfortable and non-threatening. Uh, but we can focus uh, upon the cross. Uh, the cross, the cross was an instrument. Uh, with which the Roman state uh, executed the death penalty. Uh, the cross, the cross, it was a crude, splintered, uh, rugged instrument of death. Uh, the crucifixion uh, was an extremely painful way to die. Uh, oh, it is hard to describe the torture experienced through being crucified. Uh, the pain of the cross uh, was on the Not only that, Jesus was scourged. In other words, he was beaten. He was whipped uh, even before going to the cross. Uh, he had been mocked by soldiers, made fun of. Uh, a crown of thorns uh, was pressed hard upon his head, uh, so hard that blood began uh, to come out. Uh, he was beaten. Not only that, uh, he was spit up. Uh, he was physically abused, not with just one blow, uh, but many. Uh. Now look at that Jesus. 
Jesus. Look at that Jesus, the shape that he is in already. Huh? And then uh, a cross, uh, a cross was placed upon his back uh, as he stumbled uh, toward Calvary. Uh, he was stressed out once he was got there uh, into a perpendicular position uh, on the cross. Uh, then, then, can you hear the hammer? Can you hear the hammer? The nails was driven through his hands. Uh, with his knees bent, uh, one foot, uh, one foot uh, was placed over the other. Uh, and a nail uh, was driven through both feet. Uh, the cross was then lifted up uh, and placed into the ground. And finally, uh, the final suffering has begun. Uh, dying, dying on the cross. Uh, it was long. Uh, it was excruciating. Uh, uh, as he hung on the cross, uh, his lungs began to fill up uh, with fluids. Uh, as it became, as the pain became more unbearable. Uh, uh, those on the cross, you could push up uh, a little bit because your knees would be at the time. You could push up just a little bit. Uh, but this would decrease the pain in the upper body, uh, but it would cause more pain uh, in the legs uh, and the feet. Uh, this would go on for a long time. Uh, but remember uh, that the agony of Jesus uh, was much more than physical pain. Uh, it was for you and I this passion for us. Uh, so why do Christians then see the cross? Uh, we should see it uh, as a symbol of their faith and allegiance to God, uh, but yet don't uh, grasp what it really, really means. Uh, well, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see if the suffering uh, that Christ endured. Uh, uh, is it worth really iterating its importance? Uh, whether you realize it or not, uh, all of us, all of us here, uh, we deal with arithmetic every day. Uh, what you mean, preacher? Uh, speed limit signs, uh, grocery receipts, uh, social security numbers, uh, telephone numbers, uh, sports scores, uh, and the list goes on and on. Uh, Without arithmetic, uh, this world would be in a state of chaos. Uh, well, well, uh, arithmetic, if you knew it or not, uh, oh, I come to enlighten you. Uh, played a major role uh, when it came to the cross uh, in which Jesus died. What are you talking about, preacher? Well, 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 here's what I'm trying to say. Number one, number one, uh, the arithmetic of the cross, uh, it subtracted subtracted us from hell. Huh? 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 What you mean? Well, uh, uh, can, can you give me an example? I believe again. I believe again. How did it subtract us from hell? Hey, uh, anybody remember the thief upon the cross? Yeah. Who's there? Check the scene. Now, uh, there are three crosses. Uh, Jesus is on the middle cross. Uh, and two on the other Sides. Same cross, one on his left hand and, and the other on his right. Huh? I'm not talking about me now. Uh, I like to think uh, that the unrepentant thief uh, was on his left huh? and the repentant thief was on his right. Huh? I said neither. The Bible doesn't say that. Huh? But Jesus did say that he separated the sheep from the goats huh? with the goats on the left huh? and the sheep left on the right. Huh? While all this is going, uh, people are standing around. Uh, they are making fun of Jesus. Uh, and some of these folks are probably the same people who had heard him preach, uh, who had eaten of the food that he had uh, the three fishes, uh, and the, the two fishes and the loaves of bread, uh, by his supernatural multiplication uh, of the two fish uh, and the five loaves of bread. You know, folks, we'll see your food and still talk about you. There were many people from walks of life. All kind were there. Uh, the common people were there. Uh, the religious people were there. Uh, and the soldiers were there. Uh, and they were all taunting him uh, and shouting 
insults at the Son of God. One of the men who was being crucified beside him, who was to suffer the same kind of death as Jesus was, he joined in with the crowd. He began to shout, if you're Christ, save yourself and others. He really didn't believe that Jesus could save himself. So he was just taunting him. Can't you hear him laugh? And he said, oh, us all or something? I'm making fun of Jesus. But higher, higher, something stirred in the feeling, in the heart of the other thief. And he began to admonish this loud mouth. You do know we got some loud mouth thieves. That was trying to insult Jesus. Uh, listen to his words. Uh, he said, Do not thou feel God, uh, seeing that thou art under the same condemnation. Uh, and he said, What's wrong with you? Uh, what, what we did, uh, uh, and our punishment, uh, we did what we received. Uh, but this man had done nothing wrong. Uh, this thief, huh? He recognized something in the spirit of Jesus, huh? That in his dying hour, they gave him hope, huh? Something supernatural. Huh? What did he say? He said to Jesus, Lord, remember me, huh? When thou come into thy kingdom, huh? And we all know Jesus' reply. Surely I say unto thee today, huh? Thou shalt be with me in paradise, huh? Why do you say all of that, Pastor? So, well, salvation came huh, to the repentant thief there in his last hour. Huh? This is the ultimate huh, in a deathbed confession. Huh? I can guarantee you this man was on the way to hell. Huh? 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 But something on that cross, huh? Huh? something happened to him, and he said, Lord, remember me. Huh? Huh? So this man was subtracted huh, from hell. Huh? Jesus Christ himself, as this thief died, uh, he was translated to heaven. The other thief was translated straight to hell. Huh? They each had the same opportunity, yeah, but only one had a change of heart. Huh? Just like this thief who was saved that subtracted from hell. Uh, the blood that was shed upon that cross uh, huh, acquitted us all who confess. And believe in him. I wonder if anybody in here believe in him this morning. Now, the word of put, it's a heavy word. Huh? It means to pay off, huh? to free, to clear, to absorb. Huh? It has far reaching meaning, extending from the past uh, always to the future. Uh, let, let me give you an example. Huh? Anybody remember OJ Simpson? Huh? 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 He was. He was, uh, he was in court with me, uh, charged with murder, huh? but he was acquitted, huh? and because he was acquitted, huh, they could never come back now huh, and retry him uh, once again, huh? not, not even if new evidence uh, huh, come up. Huh? Forgiveness is uh, given for him, uh, huh? so he was subtracted. Huh? Uh, this thief was subtracted uh, from hell. The second thing I'm trying to say, the remedy of the cross will add us. Uh, uh, I had subtraction. Uh, we got to do some addition now. Uh, 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 it adds us to the kingdom. Uh, in so many words, Paul preached to the Corinthians uh, that the message of the cross, uh, my text, uh, means salvation, uh, strength, uh, and wisdom of damnation and his weakness uh, and foolishness uh, to those who hear it. Uh, Paul said, I don't know about y'all, uh, uh, but I preach Jesus Christ crucified. Uh, first, this message of the cross, uh, which adds, uh, which adds to the kingdom uh, means salvation. Uh, salvation for who? To those who are being saved. Uh, that's the message that is found throughout the New Testament. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm biblically reminded uh, 
of the Philippian jail. Uh, how he and his family were added to the kingdom. Uh, after the earthquake, uh, the prison door flew open. Uh, and he was scared that his prisoners had escaped. Uh, uh, he drew his sword. Uh, he was about to kill himself. Uh, after Paul stopped him, uh, he asked him, Sir, uh, what must I do uh, to be saved? Uh, Paul and Silas replied, uh, Believe in the Lord Jesus, uh, and you will be saved. Uh, they preached Christ crucified to the jail. Uh, and as a result, uh, the Philippian jail uh, and his family uh, were saved and then baptized. Uh, and, and Brother Tim, they were now added. Uh, uh, they were now added to the kingdom. Uh, the third thing I want to talk about, uh, the arithmetic of the cross, uh, it divides us uh, from the world. Uh, when we view the cross, uh, it's to remind us that being divided from the world is a very important duty. Uh, the Bible says uh, we're in the world, uh, uh, but not of the world. Uh, the Bible says if you're a lover of the world, uh, you're in it. should consider it very seriously. Uh, for separation from the world uh, has always been one of the evidence of God's work of grace in the heart. Uh, see, our Sunday school lesson was talking about that. You know the word, ha, 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 but you won't say anything, ha, ha, or you want to act like the world, because uh, you want to get along in the world. Guess what? Uh, you are in it, huh? You two cannot coexist. Uh, you have to separate. He said, from among them, uh, when some of them become a Christian, uh, when they're born again, uh, when they're transformed uh, by faith in Jesus Christ, uh, they enter into an entirely different sphere. Uh, what you mean? What you well, uh, they go from the untransformed, uh, the unregenerated, uh, the non-Christian. Uh, we have as Christians now. Uh, Different thoughts, huh? different values, huh? different standards, huh? different beliefs, huh? different feelings, huh? different principles, huh? different motives, huh? different goals, huh? different attitudes, huh? and different hopes. Huh? Paul, uh, under the previous auspices, you do remember, the name of Saul uh, became what? A changed man. Huh? Saul was a bad man, huh? His reputation was not pleasant, huh? But when he met Jesus, huh? Oh, it's something about me and Jesus, huh? He became a changed man, huh? He changed so much that he even changed his name, huh? Huh, huh? He didn't even want to be remembered huh? by that name, huh? He wanted a new, I know, oh, I've been changed, huh? God will save 
a multitude uh, that would number and the multiplied millions in heaven. Uh, how do I know this? Uh, John said, and this I beheld, uh, and lo, a great number, uh, which uh, no man could number. Uh, there were all nations uh, and all tribes and people, uh, all tongues, uh, and they stood uh, before the throne, uh, before uh, the Lamb of God. Uh, and what I like, uh, they were clothed uh, with white robes, uh, and they had palms uh, in their hands. Uh,
Sunday afternoon school was closed. And I would use it like